The new Chaochu Dagger Duchess is finally out in Clash Royale. I achieved an absolutely incredible 100% win rate and pushed flawless from League 1 to League 8 in Clash Royale. In case you guys want to support me and enjoy my content on this channel, make sure to use Creator Good Mod in the shop in any Supercell game. And not gonna lie, when I released the first video on the new Tower Troop, I'm um, actually like placing it on the dev build since Supercell creators are able to do that before. And I was like actually really harsh on the card, was saying it's not that good. And to be fair, I don't think it's broken after playing it a bit, especially in this type of packer deck. Um, but I think the tower troop is not as bad as I personally thought at the start. Maybe you guys have a different opinion. Let me know what you guys think about it after like playing it a bit. I hope you play it already. I mean, you can play it in the grand challenges for... Okay, I mean, it's not free, but I guess you know what I'm talking about, right? But you can also just like buy all the offers and spend all your income on Clash Royale, which is absolutely incredible. So, no. But I just personally feel like... You need to go zap there. Oh no. Um No, I just feel like it's not that, it's not that bad. It's resuscitation, as I said, like against balloon decks, time if you're struggling, um, against big beefy tanks, but this is why it synergizes really well in this type of Packer Butcher deck, right? I got a ton of single target damage with the little prince. This is why I like little prince in combination with it. And also, of course, the packer, which is like really important against any type of beat on deck. Then you also got the mom bridge to just like clean up any type of spam. And you just got the bridge from cards. The good thing about like this type of troop is it does really, really well against like swarm troops at the start. It does really well against mini tanks, Valkyrie, Knight. And Bandit, Ghost, these are all cards which like the, the the new tower troop does pretty well against, at least in my mind. I don't know, let me know what you guys think about that. I personally think it's a really fun, I think it's the most fun card tower troop concept. Of course, seeing it like uh, being as pay to win as it is, yeah, it's nothing I really love to see. But it's still Clash Royale, so this is like really good. Also, what I really like about this card is it's solid against Drill, Miners and Barrels. So, I mean, also against Graveyard in a way when like it gets on tower. Um, it's like really, really solid. But these are like the main cards, right? And I feel like every one of us hates this type of cards. Drill, Graveyard, Gomba, which just get on tower and get like a, a ton of damage. They, they, she does really well against that. She does really well against it. Make sure that you're not taking too much damage. Just gonna go for the band we'll play against. I kind of want to like, to be fair, like my cycle isn't really optimal so far. I'm just gonna go for my arrows there. Could have maybe zapped it also. And why do I like also Bridge Frame with this deck? It has a really, really big reason. A ton of people, of course, are like top ladder and so on, trying out the new card currently. And what is really, really good about um, yeah, about that is that it does really well against like this type of swarm units. And also, of course, you can play a ton of aggression, right? What is, what is, like, what is like the biggest disadvantage of the new tower troop of Princess Peach? I would say... It's basically just when you're like low on Alexa and the opponents keep spamming, you're struggling. And this is what the stack does, right? It's a bridge spam deck. So when an opponent, like when it's like not fully charged, you can just continue to spam, 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 spam. And you spam. So I'm just gonna go for my little prince there. I'm just gonna go for the build here. I'm gonna also go arrows. So what the heck is he gonna do? Great arrows, let's go! And now we do have to push! Now we do have to push! The one push evolution zap, evolution ram, do get, does get on tower, and this is what I'm talking about, he's lone elixir, his tower isn't doing shit, bro! And now we can just continue to spam, and I'm just gonna go zap there, and his tower, he actually, like in this type of situation, he basically doesn't have a tower. The tower is not doing anything! The tower isn't doing anything, and this is why we're looking really good. I'm just gonna go defensive battle ram there, just to make sure to get, like, of course, like some damage, maybe. But mainly also cycling back to another evolution. So, as you guys can see, he still has to drop something. Because we will get damage, right? So, this will be a shot, which is absolutely massive. I'm kind of scared of his evil bomber. So, I'm just going to go for my LP there. I'm just going to go for my zap. Good zap. Okay, I thought I would be on tower, but it wasn't. So, I'm just going to go for another BRAM there. Okay, he goes in for this. is fine. But the ghost might get on tower. The ghost is on tower for one big swing and i'm actually taking this so i'm just gonna go for my ghost to back he kind of needs to switch lanes but i feel like it's too late for him it's too late and this is normally a match where i feel like he got good cards against me right he got good cards against me but so far he's, he's not able to do anything so i'm just gonna go for my band i'm just gonna go little prince to snipe this really really good lp and now once again i'm just gonna go for this it does really well against uh it does really well against it compared to the cannon or the null prince tower against the drill i mean and i can just go now for my I'm just gonna go zap there. What? What's happening even? I don't even see that. And now I think I can just go for another packer there. And we're looking really, really good. I'm just gonna go for this. It's doing really well against that. I think I'm just gonna go now for my Benity in case he goes in for something. He doesn't. Zap. It's not gonna be on tower. I can just go for my defensive battle ram there. I'm just gonna go arrows. 
I'm just gonna go for my zap there just to make sure we're gonna get the tower damage. It's over. GG's well played. Let's go. This is what I'm talking about. Normally, this matchup I feel like it's really tough, but actually, it's possible, bro. Evolution ramp, evolution zap, all of the new stuff, it's broke. Of course, it's also pay to win. Yeah, I had to, I had to sell my house, but it's okay. It's okay. I think she's really, really solid. I don't really think she's broken, as I was mentioning, but she's also really fun. Dagger Duchess is a fun tower, too. I think the name is a bit hard for me, like, as a German to kind of remember, like, compared to Kenny. I think it's, like, way, way easier for me. But Dagger Duchess is actually a really, really fun concept, in my opinion. You let me know what you guys think about that. But I actually have a ton of fun playing her and also playing against her because this, it adds some strategy to the game besides paying. I mean, like, of course, it's pay to win. We all know that. Um, in case you guys want to buy it, I think it's worth it in some decent amount of decks. I think, like, I think, I feel like she will be stronger over time because people kind of figure out how to deal with her or don't. I think, like, similar to Kenny, when Kenny came out, I was using her him because I was, like, thinking, okay, Kenny is really, really good. He has potential. He might be strong. And people are always saying, what? Why are you using this stupid Kenny? It's so, so bad. But I was like, relax, bro. People will start picking it up. And I'm not like I'm the first guy who like found out Kenny here. But like all every single pro like I was talking to after Kenny came out, they were like, hmm, it might be a bit too strong. It might be a bit too strong, but of course always waiting. So this is also what we should do here. We should not over um over kind of like um overthink all this stuff. Also, Bedroom. I think Bedroom is really, really good, but people are saying it's like the best evolution, best card ever. And people also thought Valkyrie was broken, but then people thought like Zap Evolution wasn't as good and like now Zap Evolution might be one of the best evolutions, maybe top 2 evolution to, uh, with the Evolution Bomber. So it's like always different to just see it in-game. Um, also like Evolution Skeletons when it just came out, right? You remember the time when Evolution Skeletons came out? They were so bad, brother. They were so, so bad, but people were saying they were broken because they saw like the crazy clips where it just like gets a tower and freak on stuff. And I think this is something we need to kind of consider and need to be careful about. Um, it's every, like, of course, there are, like, scenarios, like, stuff where it looked broken, but we always kind of need to see, like, the real games in the arena to kind of get a good um, feeling for this card. So I'm just going to go for my packer there. I think I'm just going to go for my zap there. Really good zap, making sure that maybe my packer gets another shot, which would be amazing. No, it does not. So I need to go ghost because my tower in this type of situation, of course, isn't doing anything, which is really, really annoying. So... I was gonna go for my B Ram there because he might just go for a zap. Yeah, so I still need to defend this. Oh, that's annoying. But my B Ram gets on tower, right? Um, no, but like, what the heck, bro? This guy's playing really well so far. But I think my 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 my, my, my Ram gets a ton of damage. Let's go, bro. <laughs> With like one HP, this is crazy. So I'm just gonna go for this, and I might need to go Paka now in the back. Hmm. So what I also really like against. The Dagger Duchess is that like my piggy sometimes off the mother which spawns to kind of take all the aggro and then I just spamming battle 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 ram at the bridge and this does so so well so like kind of the strategy it's really really cool it's a really cool concept so I'm just gonna go for my bandit there I'm also gonna go now for this let's go so now it's like he has to go zap he has to go zap because otherwise it's gonna connect he goes in evolution zap which is great I'm just gonna go pack in our opposite lane in case he decides to go in for something on the bridge I'm just gonna go ghost but I don't really think he is. He's pretty low on Elixir. I still think I can turn this around. I just need one big push, especially with the Evolution Battle Ram. I might be able to do this. So, of course, the Magic Archer would be absolutely amazing. But I don't have it. So, I'm just going to go for my uh, little Prince there. I'm just going to go for my B Ram. So, what is he going to do now? I'm just going to go for my Evolution Zap there. Evolution Zap is going to completely kill this. Also, this. And now we do get it on tower. Now he's like really, really low. He's really low. Look at this. His tower is basically doing nothing. And one evolution zap wins us the game. And this is happening so often, bro. I just need to have a great cycle. And this is why I love playing Packer Bridge Bam. You can punish opponents so well. And pack us back. Pack is back, guys. Next in here was a Shadow King. And actually on my streak, when I went like undefeated from League 1 to League 8, I think it's like the first time I was actually doing this since the new rework. Um that early in the season because it's pretty competitive i face a ton of good players i just like shows like how consistent stack is and how much of a play potential you kind of have and um, i feel like the hardest matchups actually were like really weird golem electro dragon decks i feel like golem healer is kind of back in the matter i don't know why but the tough people start playing golem healer again with electro dragon and evolve barbarians and this might be golem deck bro this might be not the golem deck i was talking about but it might be different golem deck okay so i don't know i don't know about this bro I'm just gonna go for my B-Ram there at the bridge. Like, he overcommitted, like, surely. I'm just gonna go Zap there. Really good Zap. We do get the charge there. And I think I'm also gonna go Arrows. Because it's gonna kill everything. And now I'm also gonna use my ability. Let's go. Good ability. It's also gonna tank. So this might not be towered down. But a ton of damage. Also, at the same time, a really positive Elixir. A huge positive Elixir. 
shout out to my good old goat OJ. So, like, look at this, right? This is actually really, really cool. I think it's not gonna even gonna shot, right? Not even one shot. I might just go ghost there. I think this guy has pump. He might play Elixir Golem, though. He might play, he might play this most stupid Elixir Golem deck in Clash Royale history. So I'm just gonna go for my mom, which now I don't really think he has anything to block. He doesn't have anything to block, right? Because he used the Skelly King and Mom uh, Mother Witch wouldn't do the same. So the Mom Witch at the bridge is just doing what she needs to do. So really, really good kind of recognition of the cycle. And now I feel like it's about defending. What I really like against this type of Ego decks, which I think are really, really combinations, arrows plus evolution zap. They killed, they killed so much. That's so broken. So I'm normally trying to always as like try to cycle that as huge uh, as soon as I can. Even it's pretty tough, right? So I'm just gonna go for my ability there okay let's see so kind of hoping please kill that please kill that please kill that uh mom bridge mom bridge fast uh no 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 please please we target that we target that thank you i don't want to okay we are still alive i don't really think it gets my right tower right oh, it might be close bro how much damage is the i'm doing oh there was so much damage I mean, we're still alive at least. I mean, but he can basically just spell cycle. I mean, he knows that. If he wants to, he can just space cycle. I mean, I'm just gonna go for my zap there. I'm just gonna go for my ability. I'm just gonna go for my arrows there just to, to save the tower. Also, bro, I got like so much elixir back. He needs to go now for an elixir gone at the bridge. I don't really think he wanted to do. I mean, I guess it's gonna work out. He will get my tower. But I also get a ton of elixir now back, right? Please kill that. Thank you very much. So I'm just gonna go for my packer there. And I'm also gonna go for my battle ram now. Okay, that was really, really bad time. I need to go arrows. But good arrows. He goes in rage like this. It will dash on tower. He goes in this. But what does he have? He needs to go elixir on defensive. I'm just gonna go for my zap now. Let's go. Zap is coming down. Pack on the tower. Pack on the tower. Bro. You deserve this. Game here was Percy Jackson. What the heck is Percy Jackson gonna kill? I'm just gonna give him good luck. Skeletons in the back. Okay. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Not e golem again, bro. Why is this stuff coming back? Why is Elixir Golem coming back, bro? Okay, at least you guys gonna see me. Okay, you guys gonna see me clapping Elixir Golem back to back, bro. You're gonna see me. You're gonna see me clapping Elixir Golem back to back. I think this would be one of the most satisfying things to watch, bro. He deserves that. Take this, brother. I'm just gonna go for my zap there. Really good zap. Oh, what a zap, bro. What the heck are you doing? Okay, I'm just gonna go for my battle ram there. What the heck? I actually don't know what this guy's doing. That's so bad. That's so horrible. I'm just gonna go now, bro. You can't play like this. Come on, play your bats, bro. That was so obvious. That was so obvious. Now he needs to go skeletons. Okay, to be fair, maybe his skeletons are like a bit too broken for me. Help me. Please, please kill that. Please. Please. No tower. Don't fail. No way. I need to arrows this. <laughs> tower, what are you doing? I needed some help. I needed some help. <laughs> now he just goes pump. And I have a big problem. Okay, I have my zap ready. I'm just gonna go evolution zap there. Why not? I mean, he has to play something anyway into that. It's gonna kill the night witch. We're still gonna be like able to get a ton of damage. I will be up, but also I've committed like six elixir and I don't have evolution zap anymore on defense. He got a pump now. I think this is a really bad scenario to be in. Not gonna lie, this might be, this might be a bit bad. Little prince in the back. Okay, I need to go pack our opposite. He will cycle so quick. Okay, I got evolution better ram. Really hard for him to stop. Evolution better ram is really hard for him to stop without building, and so I'm just gonna ghost. So I'm kind of thinking. Okay, I'm just gonna go for this zap. Good zap though. Okay, what does he got? He okay, he can't kill it. He can't kill my mother witch. We're taking advantage of that. He can't kill much, bro. The better ram. Come on, kill the pump. Okay, yes, it's on tower. It's on. I mean, it's on pump. It's on pump. Uh, right inside, bro. Tower isn't doing anything. Tower. Uh, tower? Tower? I'm... Uh, tower? Oh no. Oh no, the tower didn't do shit, bro. Uh, help me. What the heck is even happening on the other side, bro? What am I watching? What am I... Wait, can I defend this? Can I defend this with like a good timing, bro? 
And then just go evolution zap here. I think I actually can, bro. Let's go. And also on the left hand side, what's happening for mother with GG's well played? They actually got a 100% win rate from League 1 to League 8. Now also dominating League 9 with this absolutely incredible deck. Let me know what you guys think about Dagger Duchess in the comment section below. And also make sure to use Critical Mod and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to see you guys tomorrow at the exact same time.